children welcome back to my class so today i'm going to start second lesson textbook bit a bit answer these questions first question is there was confusion everywhere what was happening in the forest why everyone was confused there because the sun was hind hiding behind a hill and everything was dark then the animals could not see each other and bumped into the tree okay second question who called out to the sun first yes the lion called out to the sun first because he was the leader of of the animals third what happened when the peacock danced and called when the peacock danced and called the sun refused to come out behind the hill fourth question the sun peeped out from behind the hill to see who was calling who did the sun listen to the sun listened to the call of the rooster say the spelling of rooster r o o s t e r rooster yes very good fifth one the animals were delighted d e l i g h t e d delighted is nothing but very happy what made the animals happy in the end why they were happy because when the rooster called out loudly the sun rose high in the sky and there was light everywhere this made all the animals happy in the end okay now say true for t or not true for nt first one the animals bumped into the trees when it was dark true or not true true yes they bumped into the trees second the other animals said the lion should go first the other animal said or he decided to go first yeah he decided so not true you have to write third one the sun came out when the elephant called no not true when rooster called out the sun came fourth one the sun peeped out when the rooster called out yes true now this c think and answer and know your values is deleted okay children so no need to learn that bits now let us come for the grammar bit read these sentences the elephant called out next he raised his trunk and trumpeted the animals had a meeting they wanted to decide who would call out to the sun now children the words which are in color are called pronouns now what do you mean by pronouns pronouns are the words which is used in place of a noun what is noun noun is a naming word so second is pronoun pronoun are used in place of a nouns there are eight parts of speech children what are they first is noun second pronoun third verb fourth adverb fifth adjective sixth preposition seventh conjunction and eighth interjection so first one noun we have learned common noun and proper noun also we have learned now second is pronouns pronouns is used in place of a noun in place of a noun we can use pronoun suppose example the elephant he said in place of the elephant he is using he here in place of repeating two two times the elephant we have to use he whenever the name of a elephant comes we have to use he here and the animals animals nothing but more animals will be there so we have to use they here okay children we cannot repeat the animals had a meeting the animals wanted to decide who would call out to the sun instead of repeating two times only one time you have to repeat then second one we have to use pronoun they okay now the elephant called out next he raised his trunk and trumpeted 
okay name of an animal so male person we are using he here the animals had a meeting the group of animals we are using they they wanted to decide who would call out to the sun now pronouns will be of two types it may be a singular pronoun or it may be a plural pronoun singular pronoun contains i you he she it they are singular nothing but single persons i means one person you also one person he also one person she also one and it also one thing okay but plural plural means more than one we means two person or three persons you two persons they many persons okay plural means more than one suppose example the garden looked beautiful here the garden nothing but place so we have to use it here it was full of colorful flowers now let us see this activity pronounce what do you mean by pronounce pronounce is nothing but it is used in place of a noun here singular and plural pronouns are combined here i you can use here me okay subject pronoun and object pronouns you he subject pronoun and object pronoun him whenever he comes then in the sentence you have to use him she if it is girl you have to use her okay if it is we we have to use us they and them when it is referring to specific group of peoples or things or animals we have to use they or them we and us when we have to use it refers to different groups of peoples okay it it refers to things mostly and sometimes animals as well okay and you will be used for both subject and the object form okay now let us see the a bit take the correct words to complete these sentences first one renu is my best friend dash is very sweet renu is a name of girl so what it will come whether it will come he she or it yes she so you have to tick on she because she is a girl that's why she second mr gomez is the principal of our school dash is in his office mr gomez mr gomez nothing but boy gents name so we have to use he he is in his office okay next one samik and i are neighbors two persons then you they you or we often play together whenever two persons comes you have to use we you cannot say you often play together we often two persons it is about two persons samik and i so we have to use we fourth one my cat is on the sofa they it or you is sleeping whenever cat comes it refers to some animals as well so it is the correct option fifth one the boys are very excited the boys nothing but group of people so here they should come they are playing cricket now children you have to say this answer sixth one the woman in the photograph is my mother he she it is very tall what it will come woman woman is nothing but lady so for ladies what we have to use she yes very good okay children so that's all for today i hope you have understood this pronoun part grammar in the next video i'll be explaining the remaining bits till that time take care bye bye